Yo, what's up, Trent? Yo, it's my boy right here, City TV, Trent Out Loud. We reporting live. You know how we do. Trent Out Loud. Bow. Nothing can stop. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way. I got what you need. need. Shorty, what you want? I got what you need. Hey. Shorty, what you want? I got what you need. I'm all the way up. Hey. I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. Hey. I'm all the way up. Hey. I'm all the way up. All the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. For my n****s, we been increasing Rolexes. Kicked up the top of the room and gave her no breakfast. Had to stash the jewels, these so reckless. Keep my n****s on cruise, I'm talking no Showing off for new things Couldn't take it all So I gave her un chain She called me top shot So yeah, I keep a few tings Champion sound Yeah, I got a few rings And I'm all the way up And you can stay up And if you ask anybody where I live They point to the hills and say Go all the way up so for more on this, let's bring in the owner of Exclusity, a big part of the streetwear scene in Toronto and Montreal, Trent Out Loud. A new radio station is slowly hitting the airwaves in Montreal. CFQR AM 600 launched a one-hour show of music and talk yesterday, hosted by Trent Out Loud. He joins us now in studio. Thanks so much for coming in today. And so it gives me great pleasure to introduce someone all the way from Montreal, and this is Trent Out Loud. Today, we're going to have a discussion with the one and only Trent Out Loud. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Mo Christine. On today's episode of Kicking It, we've got Trent Out Loud. Today, we have Trent Out Loud. The one and only Trent Out Loud. We're going to introduce Trent um, with a long list of things. Black entrepreneur, author, model, content creator, influencer, music management. So Trent, uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you very much. It is an honor for me to have you here. Thank you. Not only you're my friend, but you're also one of my idols. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, orange-usa.com. I'm with my man Trent of Exclusity up in Canada. I've been following you since like 2014. Mm -hmm. The books, they're memoirs. These are memoirs and they're really, really good books and uh, obviously your sneaker boutique was the place to be mm -hmm. they're extremely important books for one primary reason and that's it shows how entrepreneurship is never a straight line your entrepreneur journey is outstanding thank you and i have witnessed this and it is an honor and privilege for me Thank you very much. Thank you. So the first book I read was How Sneakers Saved My Life. I'm telling you right now, if you don't have a mentor, these books are your mentors. Trent is standing in his truth in hopes that his courage will empower many others to do the same. When you knew you were a millionaire, like, how did that feel? My mind, I look at money and I'm like, great, I got a million dollars in the bank account. I don't look how I could spend that on myself. I look how I could flip that and make more money. Our community, we feel like we need to floss it. We feel like we need to go out there and buy more Jordans to buy watches. We feel like we need to buy chains to show that that we've made it. And let's make those changes. And that's the reason why I wrote this book. Hey. Uh, Chris Rock said, yo, I don't want Shaq's money. I want the guy who's paying Shaq's money. I really agree with you, man. And I think I need to look back on my family tree because you, you might be related to me. <laughs> <laughs> so with your multiple streams of income, doing all these wonderful things, Alicia Keys speaking life into you in the sense of saying, hey, you should be a model, basically. Yeah, and exactly. so like <laughs> even modeling for some people is the goal. And because the E spot is the entertainment spot, like okay. I want to know a little bit about like how do you even get started with that? Because Canada is a different market. Your mindset is huge when it comes to entrepreneurs. Hire people who are smarter than you. That's the secret, dude. If you're a business person, and I don't care what field you're in, if you're a business person, read the books. I've never seen an owner of a store tell the truth. Young entrepreneurs need to understand the difference between having a company and having a brand. You're a successful guy, right? Uh, broadcasting is is just one of the latest things yes. you've sort of gotten into. You Humbly, uh, yes. <laughs> well, you have your own brand that's yeah. done very well. You've mm. written a couple of books. Yes. Uh, but 
you, and and the brand also associated with sneaker boutiques. Yes. <laughs> I mean, so yeah. doing very well. Thank uh, you. But you did come from a modest start. Can you just, just tell us about how you got to where you are today? Yeah. Listen, this guy is a black entrepreneur who has reached pinnacles in his career making millions. And there's so much that people can learn from his story, right? There's a lot. I have to say, reading the book, it felt like I was sitting down, yes. kicking it with you, yes. and you were just talking about your experiences, yes. your life, family, abuse, mental health, debt, wins, yes. some losses. What made you open up? Dyslexia. Talk mm -hmm. about it. Trent, you're okay. young, you're successful, you're you're really inspiring. You, you make me Thank feel you. like, what am I doing? This guy's <laughs> found more hours in the day or something. <laughs> to answer your question about finding a therapist, I, I think really what I've been learning as I talk to people about therapy is think about what kind of therapy you're going to. There's different kinds of therapy. I do cognitive behavior therapy. What I also try to do is I try to find my own lane. I feel like a lot of people see something working and try to emulate it. You need to be able to find the the places that are voided and then fill that space. I read How Sneakers Saved My Life and I read How Sneakers Ruined My Life. Read these two books. It's a great read. The book is really not about sneakers. Really, it's about how a delinquent kid not doing well in school, uh, you know, getting kicked out, getting himself in trouble, you know, trying to find my way. I just feel like there's a lot of you know, young entrepreneurs that are kind of just a little bit lost. The book is to promote entrepreneurialism and also to just, you know, let people know that, you know, you could, can I, can I swear on your show? Yeah. Let people know you yeah. right? Like I a lot as a kid. And I feel like there's not a lot of business books that talk about that. And I wanted to share that with people who might be going through the same thing. For yeah, really. those of you that know me, you know, I hate reading. This is, act <laughs> I'm not just gassing my boy up, but this book was fire. Thank you, brother. Available on Amazon. Don't think, yo, it's a book and I don't like reading. I really wrote it for people who hate books. Yeah, and I can second that because I hate books too and I finished it. Right? And follow me on Instagram, Trent Out Loud, okay? <laughs> Class is wrapped. Salute to the Acoma Project. Salute to Dr. Alfie Breland Noble. Salute to all of the experts and professionals that are going to be participating in this event. Let's start the show. Oh, and invest in your mental wealth. We're going to start the show. I want to bring in our first panel of experts. We have a Canadian brother, right? We international, y'all. Mr. Trent Out Loud. So he sent me a two bomb books and I'm just so happy. <laughs> he is known for the amazing brand Exclusivity. Now he has two books out, How Sneakers Saved My Life and How Sneakers Ruined My Life. Let's bring him in. 